Hello, I am Ankit Patel, currently a third year student of engineering physics at IIT Roorkee and today I am going to present on artificial sleep inducer. So the reason behind the need of an artificial sleep inducer is insomnia. Any deviation from the normal healthy human sleeping condition is called insomnia. It, it can be characterized by nighttime and daytime symptoms. The nighttime symptoms include difficulty to fall asleep, waking up earlier than normal or waking up frequently and get, you know, finding it difficult to fall asleep again. The daytime characteristics involve drowsiness, tiredness and anxiety, depression or memory impairment. Our sleep is dependent on the magnetic fields around us. The magnetic fields around us alter our sleep. The natural geomagnetic field is essential for a good and sound sleep, but nowadays, due to the presence of other sources of magnetic field in our environment, um, people are facing problems like insomnia. So, to tackle this problem, an artificial sleep inducer generates waves to make our brain perceive that we are in a, a good environment for a sound sleep. The sleep inducer harnesses geomagnetic traits along with the electromagnetic in induction to produce waves of low frequency to make us perceive that we are in a natural good environment to for, for, for a good sleep. So let us classify the brain waves. The brain waves can be classified into four categories: beta waves, alpha waves, theta waves, and delta waves. Let's talk one by one about all of these. Beta waves are the waves of higher frequency, namely 14 to 30 hertz. Those are associated with higher levels of anxiety, disease or feelings of fight. Alpha waves are waves of frequency 8 to 14 hertz. Those are related to relaxation and super learning. Theta waves are the waves of 4 to 8 hertz related with increased creativity and the brain waves of the lowest frequency namely the delta waves which are which lie between 1 to 4 hertz are associated with deep non-physical state or loss of body awareness or the state of deep sleep so now let's talk about the methodology and circuit design of an artificial sleep inducer an artificial sleep inducer utilizes the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. The brain generates the, the waves of various amplitudes depending upon the activities and researchers have shown that electrically stimulating the scalp with delta rhythms or the waves of low frequency via surface electrodes can induce similar effects as as due to sleep in human brain and th these uh, those delta rhythms are generated via an artificial sleep inducer which which contains ic4047 which is a multi vibrator and an arduino board to control that the ic4047 requires an exterior res resistors and, and an exterior capacitor to measure the output. So let's talk about the circuit design of an artificial sleep inducer. An artificial sleep inducer consists, consists of a power supply unit, a pulse or clock signal generator, an Arduino control board to control the generated signal and a digital, uh, digital display unit to displayed the output to the viewer and and it uses the coils to create electromagnetic waves of low frequency there can be various modes of using or design of an artificial sleep inducer depending upon the time of use namely 50 30 or 60 minutes it is an artificial sleep inducer which creates frequency, waves of two frequencies, namely theta and delta waves. The, the theoretically proposed frequencies of those waves are 6 hertz and 3 hertz respectively. 
However, there are slight deviations from these proposed values due to the tolerances in exterior resistance and exterior capacitor connected to the IC4047. So we can calculate the, the time period, the effective time period by this relation and correspondingly the frequency by this relation. So now let's discuss about some of the features of an artificial sleep inducer. An artificial sleep inducer makes it easier to fall asleep because it creates the frequencies, low, low, low frequency waves and those waves just replicate the delta waves and make a person fall asleep. These waves promote deep and sustained sleep because a person without before going to, to sleep by an artificial sleep inducer gets relaxed and the stress level in the person goes really down so the person goes for a sustained sleep. An artificial sleep inducer generates a natural electromagnetic field of very low frequency therefore uh, causing no harm to the environment or to the to the person unlike the drugs used to to initiate sleep. Now let's discuss some of the limitations of an artificial sleep inducer. One of the its limitations is the emitted power through it is very small so the conventional optical sensors cannot be used here so some state of the art optical sensors are required to measure the radiation correctly measuring frequency is difficult in practical case by using an oscilloscope so so it, it can escalate the size of the instrument the, the sleep inducer hence making it difficult for a person to use conveniently so there are some thank you